have to see me. Hey, hey! Right? Tragic.
Um... Yo. That's crazy. Hey. This is amazing. Uh, no way that's true. Boring. All right, let's go. Actually... back Ah, you're back.
All right. Hey. <laughs> All right. Want to head back? What do you think about that? I was wondering about that. Well, that's not good. <laughs> it's so cool! What's the answer? Exactly.
All right. Hey. <laughs> All right. Want to head back? Time right now. All right, then. Thanks. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. Chill, man. For example... Soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Could this get any more obvious? Wow, he's not even listening to what I said. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna last. <sighs> What's going on? I can't stand all this noise! Hey, asshole! My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You want to be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. Uh, yeah... Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for Assistant Camera. 
When we're moving cameras, we need people who will get the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. Ah, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. I'm so pissed off! Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Oh, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Oh, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me, we get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh! You mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Not like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but... You'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. That's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's go to Dome Town. All right. machines and get cake instead?
Mr. Akechi's coming on. Ah! It's Akechi! Oh, he's so cool. Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Ah, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but, hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these phantom thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the phantom thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the phantom thieves exist. Of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. All right, let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. 
The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. While they simply do as the adults say. I feel like our discussions could prove quite fruitful. Would you mind talking with me again? Thank you. It makes me glad to hear that. The students from Shujen are truly quite interesting. I look forward to seeing you again. Well then? Talk about a problematic guy to get involved with. There's probably a lot we can learn from him, though. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. Just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. I should write something. Oh! 
then I'll head over. Thank you for using our service. The Phantom Thieves are super lame! Just remembered. What did you say? Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. It'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? 
My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. They were not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, Aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What?! There's no way that's gonna happen! Impossible. You're the impossible one! But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here! Seriously, though. What are we gonna do about him? Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right! It's decided! Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. <sighs> what a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. You're helping, though. It's delicious. 
Hmm, indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste! Cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh man, nah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and, uh, thanks for the soda. So you're, uh... On. On Takamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Hmm, sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? Ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. What do you think, leader? I've been looking. There hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So... How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? Okay, hot pot it is. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. <laughs> 